I hate to be negative and this is pretty harsh, but most people are flaky. They don't show up, they don't return calls, they don't return texts, don't return emails. I'm gonna show you today how you can take advantage of that so you can get leads in real estate. Hey, Trevor Jones here, Hollywood editor turned full-time real estate agent. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you can learn how to stand out with a video and generate leads with video like my student, Chris Igo. Once Chris started implementing the things I teach in my course, he said, if someone Googles me or does any type of research on me, when I go to meet with them, I walk in and it's like I'm a local celebrity. Wouldn't you wanna be greeted like a celebrity when you go to a listing appointment? Hit that subscribe button. Yes, it's a little sad, but it's been my experience that most humans on this planet aren't super reliable, but that's kind of a good thing for you because you are. It's super, super easy to stand out by being the person that does return calls, that does return text messages, that does follow up with what they say they're gonna do. Quick example, one of my daughters is working on getting her house fixed up in another state. That contractor has been off and on, off and on, as far as showing up, returning calls. Five weeks ago, my wife and I were there. We helped a little bit with the house. We met the contractor. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna be taking off next week because it's, you know, last week of summer vacation. And then, it's been five weeks! She heard nothing from him in five weeks! We've been reaching out to him to try to get him to come back. Nothing. The guy's gone. He's, he's, he's fired. But that's how a lot of people are. You ever been in the middle of a transaction and had anything like this happen? It's like, hey, John Trevor here. The contingency removal was due three days ago. John? John? Didn't pick up his phone. Text him. Hey, John. Said him the same thing. And two days later, it's like, oh, uh, sorry. I, I'm on vacation. I'll get around to it. It's like, dude. You are in a legal contract. Contingency rules were due. We could cancel this contact. Your client could lose the house, but a lot of agents just aren't on it. You gotta be the agent that's on it. That's tip number one. You want real estate leads? You wanna sell houses? You wanna be the top real estate agent in your market? Just freaking show up. If I could get the other agents in my market to show up, that'd be super helpful to me too. But that's the opportunity for you. Just show up. More specifically for this video, you need to show up in social media specifically with video. I see this a lot. You'll see a real estate agent or other business open up and they create an Instagram account, a Twitter account, a Facebook business page, a YouTube account, and they'll post for a week or two randomly and then... Right? Let me ask you a question. I want you to post in the comments below yes or no if this has ever happened to you. If you ever Googled a business you want to do business with, you find them, you check their website or their Facebook page or their YouTube page, and you're scrolling and go, oh, last thing they did was post that they went to Little Johnny's soccer game in 2006. They must be out of business. Ever happened to you? Post yes in the comments below if it's ever happened to you. So what I want you to do for your business, choose at least one social media platform you can be consistent on. So when people Google you or check out your social media presence, they go, oh, this guy's in business. He's posting constantly, personal and business stuff. That's somebody I want to do business with. You're going to be like the only one. When you're done watching this video, I want you to do something else. I want you to go on YouTube and search for other real estate agents in your market and see how many you find that are consistently posting video content on YouTube other than listings. I'll bet you you're gonna find somewhere between zero and one. Guess what? That's a void you can fill. How do you be consistent on YouTube? Post at least once a week. That's the golden standard. You can post more or less, but post at least once a week. You're gonna get real estate leads from this because people will go, oh, guess that's the only real estate agent that's still in business in this town. Another case in point about consistency, I recently watched a video that was on a huge coach's platform. He had a guest speaker that was a real estate agent and he was talking about video and posting and being consistent. He had a lot of great points and a lot of information that was valuable to pretty much anyone. So I went to that guy's personal YouTube page. He hasn't posted in five months and he had like 40 views on the video. It's like, dude, you're teaching consistency, you're teaching social media and video, you're not even doing it yourself. You gotta show up consistently. I'm telling you, take advantage of the fact that most people are flaky and inconsistent because if you're the one that's consistent, you're gonna have no competition. Gary Vaynerchuk says that every business is becoming a media company. You, as a business owner, are a media company. You need to embrace the fact that you are a media company that produces content that also happens to sell real estate. 
you need to get good at media. And by good at media, I mean get good at video. But Trevor, I don't have a camera. I don't have a microphone. I don't like how we look on camera. I hate video. You want to stay in business, you got to get over it. Here's, I say this a lot, but here's an easy way to get started. Just start posting Instagram stories. They're 15 seconds long. They evaporate in 24 hours. Practice, practice, practice. If you're brand new to Instagram, that's you know even better for practice because no one's going to even see them. Get good at it. Post two, three, four stories every single day. And after a month of doing that, jumping in front of the camera or the phone to make a YouTube video is going to be no big deal. Embrace it. Do it. Don't use the excuse that you don't have the right equipment or that you're not good enough or ready yet. Done is better than perfect. As a guy following YouTube, Sean Cannell always says, just get it out there. Your first videos are going to suck. So what? Just get it out there. People will appreciate your initial suckiness. In September of 2017, I got laid off from my job as an editor making creative content for little movies you may have heard of like Thor, Captain America, Avengers, Spider-Man, and went full-time into real estate. I started making videos, not with this gear that you see in front of you now, you don't see it, that I see in front of me right now, but with the gear I already had, including my cell phone. Nobody cared that it was shot on a cell phone. We were quickly able to create a six-figure income with this stuff. In fact, the first year I went full-time, the first calendar year, I made almost 400 grand in gross commission income. I've got three video secrets I'd love to share with you. I have a free video secrets masterclass. It's about an hour long. It's at videosecretswebinar.com. You should check it out, maybe even right now or at the end of this video. videosecretswebinar.com. Check it out and learn the video secrets that help me create a multiple six-figure income in real estate. My next tip is to stop caring what other people think and be you. I often hear that everybody's already on social media or everybody's a real estate agent. Well, yeah, everybody is a real estate agent, it sometimes seems, and their dog, but nobody is showing up consistently on YouTube as a real estate agent. We covered that. That's going to be you, right? And guess what? There is only one of you. Don't try to be somebody else. Just be the genuine you on social, in every post, on video. Be you. You're going to stand out for being you. And you got to own who you are. If you believe what you have to offer, they'll believe it too. Be confident in yourself, even maybe a little before you have all that knowledge and wisdom. My wife's a great example of this. We had somebody show up at an open house and they're like, hey, uh, I got a foreclosure, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, of course, I'll totally help you with that. The guy leaves like, you know, you've never done foreclosure. He's like, I'll figure it out. Figure it out. Be confident. Confident people get business. If you got to fake the confidence a little bit, do it. But you've got a broker. You've got people that can help you get through any transaction and answer any questions. You can make so much progress and get so much business if you own who you are and you are confident. Here's a non-real estate example that stuck with me like 35 years later and it's, okay, it's a little, a little bit coarse, but I was in a class, it was like at the end of high school, beginning of college or something, and some popular guy in the class, look at this, by the way, see that? Getting that phone call? AT&T warns me when somebody is cold calling me. That's why I don't do cold calls. Anyway, back to my story. I'm in this class and a popular guy in the class has gas. And me, regular person, I would have like wanted to crawl in a hole and been all embarrassed. But that guy, he's a super comedy. He just owned it. He's like, oh, guess the popular guy had gas. Nobody cared. He was still the popular guy. He was still super confident. Own who you are and it's going to make a world of difference. Stop selling yourself. Social media is an amazing place for people to showboat and show how awesome they are, how amazing their car is, their vacation is. Don't be that guy. Be on there giving value to other people. This is a relationships business. Tell stories. You may have heard the quote, they won't remember what you said, but they will remember how you made them feel. No one's gonna feel anything with facts and figures, but if you're a little bit vulnerable and tell stories, guess what, you're gonna make them feel things. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. There is nothing better than a story to create a connection with another human being. I interviewed a Hollywood editor about stories. You should check out that video right there when you're done with this one. Make less videos about real estate and more videos about your community. No one goes online and goes, hey, I wonder why Leela Jones is the best realtor in Simi Valley. They're not searching for that. They are searching for other things and a lot of them have to do with your community, so make those videos that answer their questions. How do you do that? With keyword research. That is something you need to get really good at. And for some quick ideas on the videos that you should be making that will get searched and get you business and get you leads, pay attention 
Make notes. Ready? I'm gonna rip through them. Let's use Roseburg, Oregon as an example since one of my kids lives there. Moving to Roseburg. You know you lived in Roseburg. Cost of living in Roseburg. Best hikes in Roseburg. Best restaurants in Roseburg. Best gym in Roseburg. Top neighborhoods in Roseburg. Why Roseburg is a great city to commute from. What is it like to live in Roseburg? How's the job market in Roseburg? Why this neighborhood is an awesome neighborhood in Roseburg. Best schools in Roseburg. Other videos you need to make are videos about popular places in your city. One of the most famous places in my city is the house where the original Poltergeist was filmed. So I made a market update in front of that house without permission and got confronted by one of the occupants. But it turned out pretty great. Pause right now and in the comments below post what's the most famous or popular place in your city. The next thing I'm going to tell you is probably the most important thing you can do for every video. And most agents completely miss this. This will do more to generate leads for you than anything else you can do in a video. You need a clear and compelling call to action in every single video. You want to give them a link to click on so that in exchange for the information, you give them something of value, like maybe the top 10 places to eat in your city if you had a video on only the top five places to eat. Be a little bit creative, make that happen. It's gonna make all the difference. For more sweet videos on video marketing for real estate, click that link right there. If you wanna jumpstart your career, go to videosecretswebinar.com right now and watch my free webinar. If you got anything out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe. I can't wait to see the stories you have to share.